All right, man. So you're going to move to Costa Rica and you're going to start living and making a life in Costa Rica. I don't want you to make some of the biggest mistakes people can make in that first year <laughs> or two when they make them. So what I'm about to tell you needs to be in the back of your head or just made uh, so you're aware. You're aware of what's going on when it's kind of happening because when this, what I'm about to say happens, when you realize what's happened, it's almost always too late. And this video can save uh, you frustration and definitely uh, money. So it pertains to you know, starting a small business and, and also friends and a combination of the two, starting a business and friends. It's going to make more sense a little bit later. I've talked about this before. I've talked about this before in, in different ways. I always kind of add new things, but I have a lot of new subscribers. They don't often check the playlist on our YouTube channel. They don't know that I have over 500 videos about living and traveling here. So, uh, and this is so important. It needs to be said anyway. So, uh, and yours truly learned this lesson the very, very hard way. And as always, there are exceptions to every rule. There's exceptions to every like commandment, but you probably aren't it. But everybody thinks they are. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. TravelCostaRicaNow.com is a travel agency. So go to TravelCostaRicaNow.com, fill out the four-minute form, and you'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. And man, smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Always appreciate that, and uh, thank you in advance. Okay, let's get started. I still can't believe this cup is holding up. I'm expecting it to explode sometime <laughs> just in my hand. All right, I'm kind of known for um, some of the videos. I put a lot of stuff I say. I'm kind of known for telling people that they should wait at least two years if they're thinking about buying property in Costa Rica. And I think they should wait about two years if they're thinking about getting residency in Costa Rica. Neither one of those things you need to do right away uh, again there are exceptions to that uh, but it's a very a very good general rule and like i was kind of saying the biggest mistakes people may make in costa rica is usually in the first year or two a, a good example of that this could either be big or little mistake is gringo pricing i know very few people that have come here and didn't get gringo priced on their first uh, apartment rental or house rental, or even buying sometimes, buying a, a property. So if you don't know what gringo pricing is real quick, you are not a local, you are not a Costa Rican, you are a gringo from the States or Canada or so, um, and they think you've got money and just, they know you don't really know everything, and so they jack up the price that what it, than what it normally would be, that is gringo pricing. Uh, very few people escape this at least once. And even if they do, even if you do your research, you just, uh, for a lot of reasons, I have videos, you fall into this and it happens to everybody at least uh, one time. This rule I'm about to say is kind of like those two rules. It's, it's general, but I, I think it's even more important. And like I'll, uh, I think it can definitely save frustration and possible money. Uh, I'm going to just tell you a little story and then we're going to, it's going to slide right in. It's all going to make sense. So, I don't know if you know this, I used to work with behavior problem children. I did it for 15 years at an organization called Boys Town. Then I started my own company. I wrote a book. I used to go in people's homes. And I worked with a lot of kids in those 15 years, uh, gangsters, autism, all kinds of stuff. So occasionally I will have a kid that is very socially inept, very socially immature, doesn't get out of the house much, kind of weird anyway, you know that. So I had one of those kids and he was nine years old and I kind of wanted to see where he was at. So I took him across the street to the park. Lo and behold, there's a lot of kids his age, eight, nine and ten. I kind of worked him over into a group. I think it was about six or seven, eight kids all his age. It wasn't with he didn't know any of them. He didn't know any of these kids. Within four minutes, he blurts out. 
I have hair on my penis, want to see it. <laughs> it's funny, but sad, right? So I'm like, oh my God. So I have to teach this kid how to join groups, make friends in a way. How do you go to a, you know, a, 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 to the church group and, and be accepted by that group, your peer group, whether it's school, wherever it is. And the stuff is very uh, simply stuff. So you go into you go into the group. You don't really say too much. You know, um, you uh, let them ask you questions. You can talk, but it's, it would basically be in the form of asking them maybe a question. And then you slowly work yourself into that group, and it kind of works like that. You know, even as even as, uh, us older people, we've all seen that been at that party where this guy who doesn't know anybody all of a sudden is going. Don't take the vaccine. It puts nanobots and it'll, it'll eat your brain. And you'll be like, what? That conversation can be had, but, you know, not right there, right? So, again, I, I have to, I'm asking you to do the same thing that I did with this, this kid. I want you to... Um, so when you get here, <laughs> when you get here... All of a sudden you're talking yeah all of a sudden you're talking to people about starting a business you didn't even know you wanted to start or or all of a sudden you've got a new bestie <laughs> a new bestie a new best friend like that right you have to remember wherever you're from wherever you're from is not like Costa Rica so you have your friends your family your cliques your neighbors your job and you know these people and so if like your if your family member brings a friend to your party, you kind of go, well, he must be OK. They brought him and everything is fine. Right. Well, Costa Rica is not like that here. It's it's like abnormal is the new normal because you have a cast of characters, a cast of characters, very eclectic that for some reason or another. Who knows why found themselves in Costa Rica. The funny thing about this, or ironic maybe, is these people that will become your friends and acquaintances possibly would never, I hate to say this, would never be your friends and acquaintances wherever you're from. Now, this is especially true on beach tourist towns and also definitely here in La Fortuna, although it's not a beach town, as opposed to a place like San Jose where it's more suburby and you can kind of be out. Uh, you can kind of you're more separated, let's say, from the riffraff. But in beach towns and tourist towns, there's, again, a lot of cast of characters, an eclectic bunch and this is it's mostly gringos but it's also ticos that also weave their way in, into your life but what i want you to do is when you get to the place especially again a tourist town it, when you get to the place you think you want to be i want you to step back and observe the this place these people in this town i, I have beers with them that's cool talk to them that's cool but keep it at arm's length and make no commitments. Don't believe or disbelieve anything these people say. But the thing is, what's, here's how it kind of happens without you realizing it until it's too late. These people are cool. They got interesting stories. They're nice. So, and, and these people are usually the, the most fun, the best personality. You gravitate toward, they gravitate towards you. I don't know how they find you, but they always... They always find those rookie new people, right? I don't know whether it's at the bar or somewhere on the beach. They they find you, um, but I want you to I want you to observe, do those things. Maybe ask around when you do meet some people that you think are kind of cool. Maybe ask them about somebody else. I can tell you that I could have saved people a lot of heartache, a lot of heartache here in La Fortuna. For example, I've been living here 15 years. I know people. I know their reputations. I know how. I know interactions with them. And I, I don't go with that don't judge thing. If I know you and I've had experiences with you, I've, uh, uh, you know, got, been around you, I will judge the fuck out of you. Now, if I don't know you, 
I wouldn't do that because how can I? I don't know you, but I'll listen and I won't believe or disbelieve anything you say until time will tell, right? Time will end up telling. But, okay, so these cast of characters become kind of in your group in town. And all of a sudden, drinking, we're talking businesses, man. We're talking businesses, drinking, or maybe some, some of them are smoking. And these people are notorious. Now, see, you don't know this because you're new. They throw shit at the wall. And they see what's going to stick with you. Things make sense, man. It's not like these are bad ideas. All of a sudden, these people are becoming more friendly with you. Uh, they're talking about, hey, let's start a beehive business. Um, we'll, we'll make honey. And, and you'll start talking and you'll go, yeah, I know about beehives. Or, or maybe they're, gonna, they're talking about, hey, let's get some Airbnbs or let's buy some vans for transportation. Let's, you know, it, the things will make sense. It'll kind of make sense. But the thing is, these people will go, yeah, I'll get, I know some people, I can get the web page and I'll, you know, I can get this location, but they never have any skin in the game, right? They never have any skin because once it comes up to money, they don't do that part. That's your part. But you're kind of going, well, they're doing this, they're doing that, so this is my part. And, and I don't know, man, how it works, but you just slide yourself into a business you didn't know you wanted, a friend that's may or may not be a friend, really, you don't know yet, um, which is what happened to me. Got a videos on that. Uh, and again, so their ideas sound good. And this is through time. So you're, you start liking this person, but you don't really know his agenda. You don't really know his agenda. Now, I see these people in La Fortuna float in and out of this town just trying to you know they they couldn't make it maybe in the united states and they're trying to make it here again throwing shit at the wall and see what'll stick with you and i've seen it stick i've seen i've seen the new gringos fall for to go yeah this guy's cool man he's really cool i i like what he has to say man he's helped me out a lot <sighs> yeah okay uh this can also apply to ticos to uh uh, to me, the Ticos are much more easy to see that because they're just trying to, they just think you have money and there's, there's more of a trying to connect with you. Not all of them, not all of them. Just that cast of character part. Um, the other thing is that, that it is a problem is this can start before you get here. And I've seen this time and time again, and this is even almost more sad to me. So, you start your relationship with this person on the internet. They own a little B&B &B here. They own a little Tico place and they rent it out and they want you to manage it. Maybe you're a chef and they want, they, they own a small hotel. They have a kitchen. They couldn't make it work. They want you to come down, take it over. We'll work things out. You're cool. I'm cool. We'll see what we can do and it's help each other out. You scratch my, all that. And, or it could just be, hey, I'll be your girlfriend, I'll be your boyfriend. So people are making major decisions based on that on the internet before they even get here. They're packing their stuff up based on, well, I'm going to be managing a place. You know how many times I've seen this happen where the people, seriously, they uprooted their life. And they go, Michael, I'm going to be managing this place up here. If they'd have just asked me, I'd have said, it's you're going to be gone because all of a sudden, three weeks later, somebody's going, well, my nephew's going to come down and help me. So you're out or the chef thing. I've seen that numerous times, too, because it's kind of a big one. Uh, the re the hotel will go, hey, man, his little organic restaurant is really working. We could do it. They push you right out, man. They push you right out. So even before you get here, talk contract somehow. It's got to be in Spanish. All right, it's got to be in Spanish. But see what they say when you mention contract. Or if you're adamant, you go, well, he's so cool, man. I know it's going to work. And you come down here anyway, you better have a plan B. Because you're probably going to go to it. You better be prepared to either go back to wherever you came or keep moving along, which is what happened to us. What, what, why? When me and D'Angelo came down here, it totally didn't work out. We knew in short order that it wasn't going to work out. What do we do? 
we kind of got lucky with all this video stuff. So it kind of worked out for us, but that's not, that's not, that's an exception basically. So that's kind of it, man. Be careful. These little best friends you get and, you know, quickly and you starting these little businesses just seem so, oh, it's just a little extra money. Man, this can be very frustrating and you can lose a lot of money. So please, please go to your surroundings. Just observe. Do you, man? Do you? Get your stuff done that you want to do. And because there are a lot of riffraff here. And even if they're not riffraff, some, some riffraff have money, you know. They could still do this. All right. So anyway, I hope, I know it was very general and kind of floated around a little bit, but I hope you get the gist of it. And it should be in the back of your head because you slip into this, man. You slip into this so easy. He's so cool. Think of me. Think of me. Think, think you know me from these videos. You come down here and I start a business with you. You don't really know me and I rip you off. That's kind of how it is. You know, so you're like, well, so anyway, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCoastRiganow.com. Peace, guys. I hope it helps. Things are going to pop up. If you're thinking about living or traveling in Costa Rica or anywhere, do your homework, man. Do your research. And especially Costa Rica. I got a bunch of videos. Very informative. And what else are you doing, man? What else are you doing? All right, man. Have a great Saturday.